and today we are talking about particles. So in the last tutorials, we found a bunch of particles from like what they are, how to create them, how to age them, how to kill them. And now we're going to learn how to render them and actually give them a shape other than little dots. So first, get into your sprite emitter, head over to the rendering tab, and we're going to talk about the sprite selection. So into the sprite selection, you have a rendering strategy. So the rendering strategy, you have multiple choices. You have render as dot, use frame number, particle type, age. What does that mean? It's basically, do you want it to render as dots, which is the default, which is amazing if you just want to test like the way your particles are like shaped and generated. And then you can go here in your sprite emitter, there's a blue port. You can connect the drawing to your sprite emitter and this drawing is going to be what your dots turn into. But then even with the drawing, there's many ways to affect that drawing. It's either frame number, particle type or age. And then you also have the index selector thing you can adjust. So there's many things to learn about that, but it's okay. We're going to take it bit by bit and we're going to be fine. So first I'm going to create myself a drawing layer and just connect it to my sprite emitter. And then when you draw your particles, I always do it from my drawing view. And then I get myself a grid because the center of your particles, like the dots is represented by the center of your grid. So if I take my drawing tool and I start to draw, if I draw here, it means that each time I use this, the dot is supposed to be in the middle, but my particle drawing will be here, which doesn't make sense. So always create your particle in the center of the universe right here. So what I'm going to do is a bunch of little sparkles because that's cute and easy. So I'm going to zoom in here. It's going to start on frame one as a little dot. Frame two is going to be a bit of a cross and then change a bit and then just expand and get nothing. Maybe if one frame more, there you go. So that's my particles. I'm also going to make them white because I want them to shine like little stars. Amazing. So these are my particles. And if I go to my timeline, I have my drawing here. It's also in my node view. So now what do I do with it? I go back to my camera view and I'm going to replace all my dots by my little animation. So I'm on frame one. I go to my sprite emitter. I go to my rendering strategy. And instead of render as dots, now I have multiple choices, either frame number, particle type or age. So what is this? Frame number is going to use exactly the right frame number of your timeline. So it means that if I go here and I use frame number, now they're all little dots. And if I go forward, they're all going to be pluses, X, and then just vanish. But now they're all the same. And when I don't have any more drawings here, they disappear. So if I would want them to stay for the whole scene, I would need to like copy and paste this forever. And if I leave a hole, then I'm not going to get particles to appear here. So this is very important to understand because use frame number is going to be used in other things as well. So frame number equals reading your timeline. And then you have age. So age is also with the timeline, but instead of considering the whole timeline, it considers just what you have in it. All right. So just so that it makes sense, what I mean is that if this is my story of my particles, it's dot plus X and then explodes. That is the life of my particles. That is its age. So if I go to my sprite emitter, instead of using frame number, I use particle age. It means that each particle will have their own story instead of all of them being the same. All right, so just to show you, I'm going to go to my number of particles. I'm going to write 10. And in the initial parameter, I'm going to all make them the same age. So then they're going to appear. And I want you to follow like this one. So it's going to be dot plus X and then it's going to leave its story. But then all of the particles are going to have their own story so that each time they appear, they have their own life. This one appears and then this one appears and then this one appears and you see they're all having their own age. So that's the particle age. And then you have particle type. This is kind of like using your particles as a library. And then if you go to generation, you have particle type zero and one. And zero is going to be frame one. And then your particle type one is going to be like at the end. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six drawings in your library and then you can use these to randomly assign a number or sequentially assign a number if just you set it to random like this it means that your particles are, gonna, are not going to read but it's going to be like each particle is going to keep the same drawing but it's going to be picked from one of those so that's also very important so then just to say again particle type is using your drawing as a library and age is just having all of these frame be one story poor particles and um, that's it then for the selector we're gonna see that in another video all right so i hope that was fun and that it was helpful and i'll see you again next week bye bye